Hey guys, how we doing? Hopefully we'll get some more some people pop in soon. Morning Paul, hope you're alright. <clears throat> Can you hear me okay there Paul? Everything okay guys? So we're going to give it a few minutes, uh, about four minutes. We'll be starting the abs and core class at 10 o'clock. Hope you enjoy it. Morning Julie. So guys, um, obviously we're going to give it a couple of minutes, make sure we don't start early. We might get some of my mates across the uh, UK joining in as well, which would be fantastic. And hopefully the more you can share this, the more you get it out there, the more we can help other people to regain a bit of sanity, a bit of fitness over this next few weeks because no doubt it's going to get more difficult and more isolated as we go on. So the aim of Mission Fitness is to try and find, uh, try and keep this going as much as possible um, within our own constraints. So this, this class itself it's all going to be done on the floor, you're literally going to be in one small area, you don't need anything apart from maybe a towel because even with abs you can get quite quite sweaty and quite hot. Um, some water, but we you know it's not going to be high intensity, it's just a hard abdominal core workout. You don't need any um, trainers, you can do it in barefoot or you can do it in socks. Um, depending on where you're doing it obviously, if you're doing it outside, which I was going to do because I thought the weather was lovely, but I thought I'd do it indoors like most of you. Um, but if you find it slippy where you are, um, you know, if you're going to be in like in a plank position or something like that, then obviously um, take appropriate measures there. So it's up to you. If you find it's not working, you know, take your trainers off. Or if you find that it's not working with trainers off, put them on. But me personally, you can see I'm just in socks, shorts top. And we're just going to be laying down on the floor most of the time. The, the uh, session's not going to last any more than 30 minutes. I can certainly do a, a, an ab session in five minutes if I wanted to, but I'll explain more about that as we go on. So it's just coming up to 10 o'clock, we'll give a couple of people more time, I'm sure they can join in because we'll be doing some mobilisation first. <clears throat> any comments? Um, can you do it on the bed? Um, it's going to be Difficult, to, you know, you can do exercises, somebody asks, can they do it on the bed? Um, yes, you can. You, you know, you just use whatever space you've got available, guys. Absolutely up to you. It's just that obviously on a bed is going to be difficult for some exercises for obvious reasons. But why don't you just do what you can? Everybody today, just do what you can. Make the most of it and 
you know, at least you're going to get something out of the session. And just give us your comments at the end of the session for any other ideas or at a later stage on our Mission Fitness UK Facebook. Okay, I'll make a start. Um, people may join in, that's absolutely fine. So welcome to uh, Mission Fitness UK, <coughs> excuse me, abdominal and core workout. I'm Graham, uh, I'm one of the owners, Hayley's the other owner. Um, we had a fantastic start yesterday with Ben, really good low intensity um, circuit session. Um, I'm going to be repeating this tonight, so get the word around for anybody else that is unable to attend this morning that you think might be interested in doing it at 7 o'clock this evening, so exactly the same workout. Um, tomorrow we got a really good session, again 10 o'clock in the morning, 7 in the evening from Ben, it's going to be a real high intensity workout, so if you want a high intensity circuit and that's your one, or just try and do the best you can. And then Friday, I'm doing a 10 o'clock and 7 o'clock body blast, and I'll just ask you to try and improvise as much as possible. So the aim of Body Blast is to do a bit of resistance work. So if you can grab some, you know, baked bean cans, a broom, some dumbbells, little um, barbell weight, anything that you've got, we'll try and improvise as we go on. So that's just to give you a bit of a heads up on that. Right, let's get started though. So good morning. Welcome to the abs core session. So every exercise we're going to do um, is going to be 30 seconds unless I tell you otherwise. So most of the exercise you're just going to do as many as you can for 30 seconds, okay? The aim of this is to strengthen your core muscles, and most people think of core as abdominal, but actually it's a lot more of that, it's your supporting back muscles, and we're just trying to keep that body nice and strong, which is what Pilates aims to do as well, so that it can prevent any, uh, any injury um, during normal activities or exercise. If at any stage you get any pain, please stop. Um, the most important thing this morning is that you enjoy it, <laughs> do you enjoy naps? Don't know many people that do but enjoy it as much as possible but keep the correct form sorry and if you do need to stop just stop and have a rest your abs are going to get tired we're going to start off um, with exercises and it's going to get harder as we go on so i'm trying to build it up build it up build it up if you need to rest any time do it just try and use me to get the correct form because i obviously can't see you um, i hope you like it and as i say please leave your comments so without further ado, what we're going to do, I always start off, and this is some good mobility exercises that I've shown to some of the clients in the gym. So what we're going to do, if you could lie on the floor, and what I want you to do is have your arms level with the shoulders there at 90 degrees, okay? So the arms are up like this. You're going to put your legs together, and it's important now to keep your shoulders fixed to the floor throughout. So do not allow your shoulders to lift any stage. And what you're going to do, if you see my legs, my hips, I'm just coming down to one side, stacking the feet. Just go down as far as you feel comfortable. And I always recommend, we're going to do five on each side. I always recommend that you don't go too far initially. So looking up to the ceiling or the sky or wherever you are, okay, just gently move. Now this is a great one that the biomechanics education group showed me. And it is a thoracic spine mobiliser. And I do that with a lot of clients before we start training. It really frees up a lot of areas. So you're going to do five on each side, okay? Keeping those shoulders rooted to the floor. Okay, what you can do, make it a little bit harder now. You're going to bring your arms in your elbows and use your thumbs there as a plumb line through your nose. And what you're going to do is this time is fix the hips. Do not move the legs. And then just come over and lift your shoulder off the floor and come down as far as you feel comfortable and then back the other way. You can feel, so you lift in your shoulders, keep those hips in the same position. That is quite a hard exercise. You can feel it's quite stiff, isn't it? Now, why are we doing this? Because actually, these are good mobility exercises that you can do at any time, okay? And it's gonna make it a little bit easier for me to do the core, okay? So just do a couple of those. What I'm gonna do now, again, some of you in my class who would have seen this, I'm gonna stand up, it's probably easier. What I'd like you to do is just come forward into a lunge position, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to come stand up with one leg forward. I've got my right leg forward. Just squeeze down as much as you can into like a lunge so we stretch off the hip flexors a bit. You can do that five times on each leg. I say this is just getting you ready. These are exercises you can do every single day, every single day. Change legs. Same again, get a nice stretch on there. 
That rear foot can be slightly off the floor, you can be on the toes there at the moment, that's fine. Okay, come to the fifth one. What I'm going to do now, guys, is stay with this leg forward. And I just want you to lean down to one side with your hips. So you're swaying your hips five times on each side, okay? So down to one side, down to the other five times. Good. Once you've done that now, you're going to rotate. So allow your arms to move around over the restricted side and the free side. Restricted side is where the legs forward over to the other side. I do this virtually every day and it has really helped my lower back. Change legs, same exercise, okay? So down to the side. And what we're doing is just mobilizing the hips. And actually, if your hips are a lot more mobile, then it makes it easier for absolutely every exercise that you do. Rotate round, free side, restricted side with the leg forward. Free side, restricted, just do another one. And there. Hopefully, after all of that, you're gonna be a lot more mobile. So that routine there, I tend to do a lot. It's gonna save you a couple of minutes on your abs as well. But that one there, is one you can do any time and I'll try and repeat that over some of the courses of the fitness we do. So we're going to get on to the main bit then, 30 seconds on each exercise okay. So you need a bit of space, You're just going to be laying down most of the time. Main thing you need to focus on this to say guys is your form and breathing. So generally as you're coming up with your body you're breathing out to allow your abdominal muscles to work better and contract. Okay, just remember that bit. So don't hold your breath when you're doing the exercise. I'm gonna show you every exercise first because we don't need to really warm up for this. And then you're gonna do the exercise and we're gonna repeat most of them twice, okay? So just watch me for the form and then try and do as much as you can. Remember the form is important. If you need to stop and rest, do that. Okay, so first exercise you're gonna do is a real straightforward abdominal crunch okay so what you're going to do is make sure you're laying on the floor with your feet on the feet on the floor there knees bent you're going to support your neck looking up to the sky looking up to the ceiling and then think of your abdominal muscles every time now that's where i'm going to start my move from there not from the shoulders not from the neck you're going to support the neck with your arms if you want to and you're going to breathe out to there so all I'm doing is lifting my shoulders off the floor all the time, okay? Shoulders off the floor. You do not lift the lower back. If you find that hard, just put your arms on your legs. Can you see that? And just slide up as much as you feel comfortable. All the way up and all the way down. Okay, that's the first exercise. Let's start doing it. Good luck. It's going to be hard work from now on. We start off easy and it gets harder, okay? 30 seconds, stand by. Three, two, one. Off you go. That's good. Welcome Chris as well. The sun, I hope you, you're doing the exercises there. Make the most of this opportunity to get nice and fit. Julie, Kim, whoever's there. Jane, Collett, keep working hard like you do on Haley's classes. Remember to breathe out as you come up, okay? Breathe out as you come up. You've got five seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, you have a very quick rest and we're going to do exactly the same again. Okay, exactly the same again. Remember to breathe out as you come up. Remember to support your neck. Three, two, one. Off you go. 30 seconds again. Let's go. Again, you're working as hard as you can, but make sure you do the exercise properly. If you need to rest at any time, just have a quick rest. <sighs> Breathing out. <sighs> Breathing out. Make sure the neck isn't coming up as one piece. Use it as part of your upper back at the same time. Now, this is a good starter. You should start to feel five, four, three, two, and rest. Hey, how are we doing? All good? Well done. So that's the first exercise done. Hopefully you've um, already started to feel that you have got some abs in there. Next one we're gonna do is called bicycles, okay? The important things on this, Legs at 90 degrees, shoulders off the floor. Support the neck, 
you straighten the opposite leg, look round to the opposite side, over to the other side. Try and do that, not nice and quick like this, you try and do it under control, okay? 30 seconds work, stand by. Three, two, one, off you go. 30 seconds, like this. Make sure you're supporting the neck, looking forward, changing sides with your face, straighten the opposite leg. You're gonna really start feeling the abs burning very soon already. I can certainly feel it, and I only did a couple of exercises with Ben yesterday on his class. So, we're not always gonna do abs. Keep going, we're gonna do core work as well. Three, two, and rest there. Well done. All feeling the burn still? Good. I say it's gonna get progressively harder. We've got a bit of an overload at the end as well. I'm gonna move back a bit, so I'm not too close to the camera. Okay, one more time with the bicycles. Remember the form, stand by. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, keep working. Obviously, I have got no music on, guys, but I would recommend you have your own music going if you feel that that helps you. Core isn't too bad, actually. It's more when you're doing your cardio and your weight workouts. That's good, keep going all the time. Just rest when you need to. The most important thing, Three, two, one, and rest there. Good. Doing well. As I say, you could do this in five minutes, couldn't you? And your abs are already burning there. Okay, next one we're gonna do is called leg raises, okay? Leg raises. So, what you're going to do, you can put your hands just under the base of your spine, near the top of your backside there, for a bit of lumbar support. If you can, you're trying to keep the toes pointed and legs straight as you come up. Now notice I'm only coming a few feet off the floor. You don't want to be coming too high, that's going to hurt the back. It's actually more effective on your abs if you just come up a little way. Try not to touch them down on the floor, but if you do need to rest, have a rest, okay? 30 seconds work, we're starting to get harder. Keep up the good work guys, it'll be worth it. Three, two, one, let's go. So support the back. Leg raises, nice straight legs, pointing the toes. Keep breathing on this one. And it is important not to arch your back, so keep that back pushed into the floor or the bed or wherever you are. In the settee, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully you're following along okay. Even if you have to stop, don't worry. Just keep working as hard as you can. That's good. And relax there. Good. I say we're starting to work a bit harder now. These are more conventional ab ones, but we will be doing core exercises on a different week, okay? Stand by then, second time. Leg raises, three, two, one, let's go. Make sure you don't arch the back. Keep that back pushed into the floor. Not too fast, not too high. If you can, straighten the legs. It's good, 15 seconds gone. Halfway there. That's really good, guys. Well done. Keep the neck on the floor. Five, four, three, two, and rest. I've got that military military timer. Doesn't work all the time. You just work to my time. <laughs> no, we'll get working. Okay, next one. I think it's a bit of a Pilates move, but it's got different names. I call it a boat pose. So it's like the opposite to a plank. Now you're better off starting in a seated position, okay? And what you're gonna do is, you've got your shoulders obviously off the floor ready. You lift the feet off the floor and you're trying to hold that position there, okay? It is a hard one to do. If you need to come back a bit, like this, that's fine as well. You just get your shoulders and legs off the floor, okay? Quite hard on this one, you may have to relax a couple of times. 30 seconds then, stand by. Three, two, one, and let's start. So, looking forward, legs off the floor, shoulders off the floor, that's good. Halfway there, 15 seconds gone already, quite hard on this one, isn't it? So you can feel all those exercises you've done already, all of those abs are already kicking in. Five, four, three, try and hold it to the end, come on, and rest. Wow, 
I also need some more ab work as well. <laughs> I'll keep working on that. The more we do, I guess the easier it does get, but you're able to do the exercises le uh, for longer or better. So it doesn't necessarily feel easier. Okay, one more then. Boat pose, hold, stand by. Shoulders off the floor, legs off the floor. Three, two, one. Now off we go. Hold in that position there, good. Keep going guys, I can't see everybody that's on, only the people that said hello to me. So well done. Doing well. You've definitely found those abs by now, I hope. We're over halfway. Can't try and keep in there if you can, try and keep going. If you need to rest though, don't hurt yourself. Rest. Five, four, three, two, and release. Woo! Well done. Amazing. Doing well. Okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of a slight rest from the abs and do a bit of a core one now. So that was burning a lot. We'll come back to that with a bit of an overload at the end. Okay, you're gonna do a straightforward plank, okay? I'll show you from the side. So you're gonna be in a, on your elbows like that if you can. And the aim is not to drop the hips too much or lift the back, back side up too much. You're holding it in that position there, okay? 30 seconds work. Again, if you need to come down at any stage, you just come down, out, and then back into it. I don't know how I'm talking and doing that pose. It's the first time I've done this, Jody. Good point. <laughs> okay, stand by then, plank position. If you can't do the low plank, just a press up position, high plank. Three, two, one. Let's go, 30 seconds. Oh dear, I'm too close to the camera now, aren't I? Scaring a few people off. So you haven't got the, the good looks of Ben, you haven't got his husky dog, but you've hopefully got a good session anyway. So we're halfway there already, guys. 30 seconds we're doing on each one. Okay, we've got a nice little sesh to finish off with near the end. Five, four, three, two, one, and completely come out of it. Make sure you get a good rest, okay? You don't need to, the abs are very, very flexible and you know, they go for a lot during the day. So they don't need a lot of rest, they go for a lot. So you can work them a bit harder. You don't need to rest very long. So, second plank, stand by. Off we go, 30 seconds. Make sure, I'm looking up sometimes, I shouldn't do for the camera, but keep that neck in neutral which means you're looking out just in front of you. Try not to drop the hips too much, try not to lift the backside up too much. Easy for me to say, I know. Just keep practicing. 10 seconds to go, guys, 10 seconds to go. That's good. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, hopefully for most of you, that felt okay, didn't it? compared with the other ones, because you can see that was more core. You're engaging your latissimus dorsi, your erector spinae, all of these, excuse me, back muscles that help to support you when you're doing everyday life or exercises. Okay, I need to demonstrate the other one. You're gonna do a high plank. We'll come back a bit. High plank into a low plank, okay? Up into a high plank, into a low plank. Main thing you try not to do is do this. Swing from side to side as you do it, okay? But I know it's hard, try and do as best you can. So you can see every exercise now is starting to get a little bit harder, okay? 30 seconds, high plank to low plank. Three, two, one, off you go. Down, down, up, up. That's what you're looking for. Good, nice and steady. You can go a bit quicker if you want, but you tend to lose form a little bit. Halfway there. That's burning my arms a bit, so carpet burns coming in here. I'll have to remember that next time. Have a little mat there. Three, two, and rest. Well done, guys. Well done, David and Caroline. Doing a great job there. I've got cameras in your house. And I'm getting intelligence reports. That's good. Chris, Jody, hope you're all doing well. Keep up the good work, guys. Okay, we're gonna do one more of those. Okay, stand by. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm going up this time and down. You just do it in your own time, guys. You can see how to do it. 
just rest if you need to. Try not to swing too much and it forces you to use a bit more balance and all those supporting muscles. 10 seconds to go. Nice and warm. Good. And rest there. Well done guys. Okay, we're gonna do one more exercise. Then we're just gonna have a slight break. Grab some water, if you need it as you're going on anyway. So it's quite hot still, isn't it? Make sure, if you can, if you're in the house, you have the, the doors and windows open, whatever. So this one definitely needs a demo. You're gonna do a plank into a, like a side rotation plank, okay? Now you can do it by rotating, staying on your feet, or if that's too difficult, from your knees, rotate over, okay? To the side, stack the feet, back down again. Stack the feet, back down again, okay? 30 seconds then, stand by. Three, two, one. So from one arm, one leg, go up as far as you can. Some people even go a bit clever like this, bring their leg up, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'll fall over like that. Just do as best you can, guys. Just gonna move back a bit. 10 seconds to go. So it's a good one, again, swapping sides. Trying to work as many muscles as we can. And relax there, relax there. Good. Well done. All good? Doing brilliant, guys. So we'll keep these classes going for as long as possible. Stay safe, keep your separation, only go out if you need to. Any questions or any classes you think you might want to do that we aren't doing, let us know and we'll see what we can do. Okay, last time on this one then. Three, two, one. After this, the heat really picks up. Okay, we're really going for it. We've got a bit of an overload to finish off on. If anybody at the end of the class or session says they didn't feel their abs, they're either a bionic person, supersonic, they're not human, or they haven't been doing exercises. One more each side then, onto the other side, and rest. Good. Well done. Okay, I'm going to now demonstrate four different exercises, okay? The reason I'm demonstrating them is to save time later, because we're going to do four abdominal exercises, one after the other. You're going to do 20 seconds on each exercise with no rest. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's brutal, but you're going to have a great workout. So the first one is like the boat pose, you're going to be in this position, but the arms crossed. Then you're going to cross your legs over like scissor kicks, but you're crossing them over. 20 seconds. Next one you're going to do is lying down. Support underneath the lumbar again, scissor kicks like this. So a little bit like the leg raises, but individual ones, okay? So very similar. Next exercise you're going to do is a jackknife. This is where we all start crumbling a bit. So you're coming all the way up, all the way down. Now an alternative exercise to this is from there, basically you bring your arms, kick your arms out to the front, makes it easier, or hold onto your legs and pull them in. Pull them in. Okay, try the best on that one. And then the last one is a mountain climber, but it's a core one. You're gonna cross your legs over to one side and then to the other. I have to come back a bit, sorry. There to there, nice and slow. So it's not your speed one, okay? It's a core exercise. Are we ready to go? Nearly finished now? Okay, last series of exercises. 20 seconds on each one. 20 seconds on each one. First one is your cross-armed, seated, flutter kicks, okay? I'm going to give you a five second countdown. Three, two, one, off you go. 20 seconds work. That's good. Hard to hold that position to talk, Jody, yes. And also, 
to get those legs moving. It's a really good exercise. And relax. Next one is lying the scissor kicks. Okay, support the lumbar reason like that. Stand by, off you go. 20 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Let's work hard now, come on. Keep going to the end. Hopefully you should feel this a bit more now after all the other stuff you've done. 12 seconds gone. Five, four, three, two, rest. Good. Next one, jackknife. Very, very difficult to do this after you've done all of that. But again, you can have your arms forward or hold onto your legs and just do knee tucks. Okay, stand by. Three, two, one. Off we go. This is the hardest exercise now, particularly at this stage of the class. Okay, so if you can't do that, hold your legs or arms out to the front. Okay, or knee tucks, whatever you find works for you. Three, two, one, and rest. Wow, that is hard. <laughs> that is a hard one, isn't it? Last one then, crossbody mountain climbers, guys. Okay, so from here, just slowly across to the other side, slowly across the other side. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice and slowly, you're not meant to be doing it quick like this, that's not the aim. Time under tension, good. Well done. We've only got one more exercise to go. We finish this little overload and relax there. Woo, are you with me? Well done, well done everywhere. So this is the very last exercise. Okay. It's a very good exercise this one. So what you're gonna try and do is do as many abdominal curls or crunches the first exercise we started off on, up to 50, okay? Up to 50. Okay? Stand by. 50 crunches, like this. Okay? That's what you're going to do. I just got a message there, I'm just going to check it. Right, be, I've got to be careful apparently guys for hackers on their web, so not to accept certain people. Okay, right, 50 abdominal crunches or as many as you can do. Just rest when you need to, okay? Stand by. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 1, 2. Just rest when you need to. Make sure you're doing the good form. Start the move from the abs, 30. Just go in your own time. Just the shoulders off the floor, 40. Good. Nice. And that is 50 for me, 50 for me, just stop where you are. Well done guys, well done. I hope you really enjoyed that one. So even though we only did, I don't mean only, but we did our abs and core, there's a couple of quick stretchy ones, mobility exercise we're gonna to do to finish off, okay? The reason we're doing this is just to try and bring the heart rate down a bit as well, safely. So what you can do is have a slight bend in the knees, okay? Slight bend in the legs. You're gonna reach down to the floor as low as you can, but then come all the way up. Look up to the ceiling, to the sky, reach right up and hold it. Arms out, down, same again. Bend, touch the floor, all the way up. Extend, out, and down. You're gonna come slowly down into a plank position. 
slam plank position. Well done, Kim. That's amazing. You can do some more afters if you want. Well done for doing 35. From here, okay, you're just going to lift the chest off the floor, okay, into the cobra position. So you come as high as you feel comfortable into that stretch. Into the cobra. And then you're going to come up onto your toes, okay, looking down and lift the tail up towards the ceiling or the sky. Slowly down out of that into a lunge position, okay. Push those hips forward, let me move back a bit. So from there, push those hips forward, push that leg away. Should feel it down the opposite side, the hip flexor muscle group round here, okay. Relax, change legs. It's important to get those hips forward to get a nice straight back. Push that leg away just a little bit. Good. That's it, guys. Well done. So um, don't worry about that very last exercise. It wasn't meant to be get 50 in. We were just going to finish off. That's 10.31. I hope you enjoyed that abdominal core session. Hopefully you found it not too hard, but hard enough. Um, any feedback, comments, let us know. Look forward to, I'll do this again tonight for anybody that hasn't done it, or if you're crazy enough to do it again. If not, uh, tomorrow night is a fantastic one. Sorry, tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock, with Ben for his high-intensity circuit workout. Well done, guys. Give yourselves a clap. That's fantastic. Take care. Keep safe. And good luck.